I'm overweight, um, I'm a diabetic, and I know I should eat better and look after myself better, but I don't seem to have the um, wish to do it hard enough you know, to do it. What's interesting about that, you're really going to like this. We so love it when we find an analogy that then we can go back and have conversations within the framework of a new analogy in order to bring great new clarity and insight. So we want to say to you in the context of what we've been talking about already here today that any action that you attempt from outside the vortex is slow going, it's hard and you can't keep your momentum up. But if you take the time to get into the vortex and then contemplate that from inside the vortex, the inspiration comes and stays. You see what we're getting at? Yep. So you've been going about it in the hard way. We want to say to you, well, tell a new story. When you say, I'm a diabetic, we say, that's really not the story that you want to tell. That's past tense. You say, no, I checked, my, I checked myself today. I, I am a diabetic. And we say, anything that is current manifestation is old news. Because in your vortex of creation, you are not a diabetic. In, your, in this vibrational reality, all of that that you've been living has produced a vibrational escrow. It's produced a, a, what you would call, in terms of manifestation, a future experience. But what we know, in terms of vibration, a present right. experience. So, if you can meditate your way into the vortex, or find some way, find, uh, find something that gets you in there and then milk it, and do it often enough that in the vortex, vibration is more natural to you and comes more easily and it will the more you do it then what happens as you are contemplating your body from inside the vortex everything goes more easily now we're going to give you something really good here it's new and you've evoked it and you're really going to like it <laughs> your body is made up of trillions of cells and each of them is consciousness. Each of the cells of your body is an extension of this source energy that we've been talking about. Your cells are in the vortex. Oh. Ah, nodded and then you heard us. Your cells are in the vortex. Mm. The consciousness of your cells is there. Now think about what that means. That means that when, for whatever reason, life was discordant in some way, which is always the case. In other words, it's always something that's bothering you that was the precursor to the... In other words, you had a lot of vibrational indicators that were emotional before mm -hmm. you got the vibrational indicator that was a physical manifestation or a yeah. diagnosis. So during all of that problem coming into focus, a solution, a better, stronger, more vital, more... more virile, more dynamic physical body was coming into vibrational reality at the same time. So the cells of your body are consciousness that are not confused about who they are, even though you and your thinking, your brain, your, your perspective, your personality might be. So the reason we give this to you in this way is because the consciousness of your cells are already in the vortex. Now, let, let's back up a little bit and give you more. When your physical body on a cellular level gets out of whack, even in the slightest, the cell sends a rocket and source becomes it and the cell would equally acquiesce to the new becoming. That's what the evolution of all species is about. But a cell in a body of someone who's worried about something. So the cell knows what it doesn't want, knows what it does want, source lines up with what it does want, but in your worry, you make it harder for that cell to come into alignment with its request. Did you hear that? And so what pain is, we know it's not something that you're talking about here, but it's something to be talked about. What physical pain is, is the cell, the, the new and improved vibrational cell calling the phys its physical counterpart in, but in the consciousness of the human, the cell is hindered and not allowed and that 
tug of war is what equals pain it's also what equals negative emotion doesn't that just make perfect sense to you yes so the story you want to tell to yourself is my physical body is a diabetic but my virtual body is clear and feeling really really good in other words because we're not kidding you that's how it is and now through meditation and through appreciation and through just generally reaching for better feeling thoughts you'll release resistance and you'll allow those cells to align with their request and your body will align it is our promise to you thank you very good thank you very much yes indeed now what don't you like knowing about the intelligence of yourselves and don't you like knowing that if you get out of their way they will thrive and don't you know that worry hinders them anger hinders them contradictory thought to who you are hinders them